Okay, our opponent is playing first. I had a look at his um, his previous games, and he's the guy who's ended up with all of the Burn the Impures and such. He's playing Red White Metalcraft, it seems, if that's possible in Besieged. But we got a decent hand for once. We don't want a mulligan. Let's go for it. Again, the Flens and Mites out too early. I'd rather they take the, uh, the Burn the Impures than any of our gas. This is where the Crusader will be very beneficial if we can get it. Let's go with hand to start with. It doesn't matter which land we put out here. <coughs> okay, sure, you can have that. First strike can be a problem, but that's alright. Alright, so we definitely want to get a, uh, a forest next turn if we can. If he wants to use a burn the impure on this, I'm more than happy for him to do that. Jackpot. Alright, let's go. Let's hit. Obviously gain life is relevant in this game compared to the others. So let's get rid of that first strike there. We do not want that coming at us. Good, good. <clears throat> not a problem. We've got the unnatural predation to uh, deal with that, if need be. Just go at him again. He's going to block. Is he going to block is the question. Obviously you've got to recess it because the infect is basically um, really doing 6 damage to him if it's normal damage as opposed to the three because his life total is halved. Hopefully he blocks here. We'll play the predation and then the rot wolf. Then of course we can clean up with the mortar pot at the end. Fantastic. This guy gets pumped. Gain another life and the rot wolf. I'm expecting to burn the impure here. Not gonna lie. Another resistor, alright. We're gonna do the same attack here, and then we can water pot him afterwards. Let's go for that. One thing I do have to be aware of is the uh, the flame fiends as well. That can really wipe us out. We'll take that. Let's drop a mortar pod. Okay. That's it. Trying to tap the hit the mortar pod there, getting the creature. <coughs> so the question is, do we look? I'd rather put this out here and put out the flame fiend now. Have to deal with that. So we're tapping out here, or burn the impurity through suns. That's fine by me. It's great. Get the forest up. Let's go for that. He's got Burn the Impure. He has Burn the Impure. So all the while here we are gaining some quality life. But let's drop the uh, Blight Widow. From this position we can almost just Mortar Pot him. One. Oops. What do we got? Double White. Crusader. Nice. And the Claw. Alright, so he's got double strike. We've got plenty of space here, so um, plenty of life <coughs> to deal with. So if we attack here, chances are he's going to block this guy. So I think, yeah, we can win this one here, I believe. He doesn't have life link. Nope. 
we attack with everything, uh, it's probably going to block the Blight Widow. Two's going to get through. Yeah, that's the way to go, I think. Put it on here. <coughs> he has to block that. If he doesn't, he's going to take eight damage and we can double Mortar Pod. Um, if he blocks this guy, result, we can sack it, Mortar Pod him. Gonna take him to six. We can go seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, we got him here. He's got one one red open. I don't believe that can do anything for him. He's blocking here as expected. Cast incense and abilities. We shall sacrifice it to do one to him. Takes another two. Right, then we'll mortar pot up again. Throw it at him. Now one more time just for fun. Alright, so mortar pod showed its worth there. Is there anything that we need to see to bring in here? I mean the reward is gonna be good for us this game, obviously. Um Bruce Monk one no. Uh, Phoresis, there's nothing really in his deck which uh, we need to do. There's nothing we want to take out that's going to do that. So it's Battle of the Crusaders here. Hopefully we can get ours out first of all this time. Uh, and yeah, 